Hello everybody, it's Rick Ashpring here, welcome to part 79 of my Fallout 4 playthrough. So, we've just spoken to Virgil, and he's told us that we need to go after a Courser. But I think before we, we do that, we're going to do some other things. So, let's head back to Sanctuary first. Drop off our uh, ill-gotten gains. Okay, well, you won't see it, but that was a lengthy transition screen. Jeez. Oops. Actually, we're going to go through some of our gear here. I want to make sure I've got everything I want. Just one of those things that we need to do every once in a while when we're out adventuring. Spent a lot of time out there collecting items. Okay, so our suit made it through. Uh, the glowing sea, not too much worse for wear. How are hey, you doing, Strong? Drew. You know what? Give me that minigun. I'm going to see if we can give you something else. The strong, what to do? Okay, so we've got that. I don't know what the heck it was that I dropped off. Okay. See if there are any, you know, legendary pieces I'd like to equip. Now we see these things, but you know, I'm trying to use the uh, modern armor that I've got on. So, tactical urban camo right arm plate grants additional strength the higher your rads. Our rads don't usually get up very high. Tactical OD green right arm plate, which reduces damage for animals by 15%. I thought I had stuck something in here that I wanted. Either leg armor or arm armor. But, you know, we seem to do all right, so... Oh, there we go. Uh, tactical urban ammo. You know, we just went over that one. And you know what? We might as well take it, I suppose. Okay, we'll go over here to modify. Okay, take the pocketed off of that. Put it on to here. All systems are go, sir. Okay, so we can drop off that and we'll put on the one that we just modified. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. A little off color balance though, but you know, what the heck. <laughs> Take a look though, see if we can change out that tactical urban right leg. And we can't. We got a right knee pad. What have we got? Tactical right leg armor. I'd really like to take that off. And we don't even have a tactical urban camo left arm. Okay. Well, good enough, I suppose. Still a little bit heavy, probably carrying some meat that we picked up. Yeah, eat death claw meat, that'll weigh you down. Uh, 
all of that, all of that. Okay, let's knock this down. Actually, did I see stinging meat? Two of those. Okay. Now, I want to go back to Good Neighbor. Reason is, Kent should have something. Let's travel to the CIT. We are not going to worry about that right now. Um, I think now would be a good time to go after the Enclave. But first, let's go to Good Neighbor. See if we can get that um, upgrade for the uh, Silver Shroud costume. Not that I see us wearing it again, but... You know, why not? These humans like fighting. <laughs> Let's see here, radio. I don't see it. Let's go talk to him. What you dry? Hey there. I've been thinking about what you and Hancock said. I've decided I can't give up, but I'm no fighter. Maybe at least I can keep tinkering, though, to try to make your shroud costume even better. What sort of upgrades are we talking about? The armor plating is good, but it could be better. And maybe I can make a few other improvements. Then let's do this. Oh, sorry. I can't do nothing now. I'll fire up my radio when I have something for you. Okay. So, came here for nothing. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. So, Hunter Hunted, Special Delivery Talk to Jack Cabot. That'll be one to take care of. Trouble Brewing, we take care of that. Um, Eddie Winter, uh, Best Left Forgotten, Data Recovery, Katie and Ideals. I really don't want to go back to Far Harbor yet. Uh, well, we still have the Nuka World Transit Center to get, to, uh, get on to. Uh, Echoes of the Past, Reach the Field Camp. That's what I want to do. And we also have Pyromaniac, which is to find and kill Pyro. So let's see. Near the slog. I don't think we've even unlocked the slog yet. We haven't. So let's go there. And then we'll uh, work on picking up the slog as a settlement. And go check out that um, encampment. Yeah, the encampment's way over there. That'd not be affecting one of my people. In fact, tells my map looking here. Yeah, we'll see. Let's talk to Wiseman here. Welcome to the Slog. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? It's pretty clever, making a Tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. Ah, plants. I appreciate <laughs> you saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City. Until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Why did the mayor throw you out? We're ugly. We turn feral and kill people. We give the kids nightmares. All the usual stuff we get from you smooth skins. Now it's true that there was one incident in Diamond City where a ghoul turned feral and someone got hurt. But I ask you this. How many humans have suddenly turned violent and killed someone? I've seen it more times than I care to admit. 
What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tarberries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. Uh, do you know where they're coming from? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. Okay. Strong like that. So we're going to kill the super mutants and break heart banks. We can get that done, but first let's go take care of the Enclave. So, this quest to take care of the Enclave was a Creation Club quest. Really, the Enclave was destroyed in Fallout 3. These are supposed to be Enclave rem remnants that made their way up to... Oh, uh, the Commonwealth. Now, their weapons are very advanced. I've seen other, uh... Videos from other YouTubers where they're using the Enclave weapons, like the Tesla Cannon. I've seen it. Not overly impressed, but I've seen it. Get him strong. Okay. Killed the hostile soldiers. Good. And we get some enclave power armor. How about that? Yeah, we got a Ported high capacity heavy napalmer. Nice. Well, looks like they were killing a settler. Pack Brahmin wasn't one of mine. Yeah, plasma rifle. Seen plenty of those in my time. Okay, Field Operations Enclave, God Bless America, yes. Retrieval Logs, okay, Hellfire Power Armor, Hellfire Power Armor, over you. Multiple sets of Hellfire Power Armor have been cited in the AO. Recovery is of paramount importance. Additional notes, a local trader deceased has corroborated reports that a hooligan by the name of Pyro is in possession of Hellfire Power Armor. It is currently presumed that Pyro ambushed the deserter and took the armor for themselves retrieval, retrieval operation to commence ASAP. Okay, so that's the pyro quest. Having incinerator. Having incinerator is confirmed to be within the AO. Recovery is of paramount importance. Additional notes. A local trader, deceased, has corroborated reports that a fanatic group named Forged are in possession of a heavy incinerator. Records indicated a misguided soldier, deceased, traded this weapon for local rations. Soldier has been proportionally disciplined. Retrieval operation to commence ASAP. So, yeah, over at the Saga Works. Tesla Cannon. Tesla Cannon has 
confirmed to be within the AL. Recovery is a priority. No additional notes. Fusion cores. Fusion cores. Numerous fusion cores noted in the AO. Recovery is of high importance. Additional notes. Intelligence has identified the Commonwealth of Massachusetts as containing a significant number of fusion cores. Any fusion core should be retrieved when sighted. As per orders, any civilians found to be in possession of fusion cores are to be eliminated prior to the confiscation of said fusion cores. Yeah, just try it. Plasma weaponry. High concentration of plasma weaponry within the AO recovery is of moderate importance. Additional notes. A local PMC named Gunners are in possession of an especially large quantity of plasma weapons. When tactical advantages present themselves, gunner squads are to be destroyed and their weaponry confiscated. Survivors are to be hunted down and executed as per orders. Addendum. A Brotherhood of Steel presence has been noted in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Though they will likely possess plasma weaponry, confrontation is to be avoided. Plasma cartridges. High concentration. The high concentration of plasma weaponry within the AL recovery is of moderate importance. So, again, it goes over the gunners and the Brotherhood of Steel. So, it's just a repeat of plasma weaponry. Okay, orders, CO's eyes only. Uh, recovery of valuable equipment from non authorized personnel. One, establish discreet encampment in AO and produce fortnightly reports to superiors regarding occurrences of note in the vicinity. 2. Identify locations of missing equipment via reconnaissance, coercion, torture, or other known effective methods. 2. B. On conclusion of interrogation with general populace, dispose of them. 3. On identification of equipment location, initiate recovery and dispose of any witnesses. 4. Upon successful recovery of equipment, return to field headquarters via homing beacon, radio frequency enclosed in terminal. 5. Relief squad scheduled in redacted. So download homing beacon frequency, so track the Enclave homing beacon, with the beacon within the glowing sea. Start the search from the edge of the glowing sea. Turret control. Deactivate. Okay, so we've got a mission to go into the glowing sea, huh? Nice. I've already done that. So I think before we do that... Make sure we got everything here. We'll go take care of Breakheart Banks. Thus taking two of two quests at once. Oh, activate the Enclave Communication Tower. Oh, it's been turned off. Turned on. Turned off. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so we need to go take care of the super mutants at Breakheart Banks. That's right there. So we'll head back across the river. What's available on our radio? Don't no, cancel that. I don't know what's what. I think we have some wandering super mutants. Yes, we do. I think we just killed all of them. <laughs> oh, 
pepper sludge. I know who to give that to. Hey. How does that do 71 to 71, but... but. That one just looks nicer. It's faster. Should be an assaultron over here. Hey, you're compromised. Engage. No. Well, that was close. Quick save. So our life can get ended real quickly here. Super mutant boss here has a very high caliber weapon. Legendary over there. He has not been drawn our way yet. because I saw movement over there. Yeah, he's over there. He's in those buildings. Yeah, if you hear that. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, see, that took out a lot of fast. Like just a salt rifle. Hey, what needs smashing? Walk and talk boring. Humans should fight more. Yeah, should. Those two over there. Hopefully, these are not settlers from my camp or from my settlements.
What's that? Good work. Colonel Ripper does increasing amounts of damage as the night grows longer and less damage during the day. So I guess only use it at night. Go back to the slog and turn in our quest. haven't gone after those super mutants yet or good news those super mutants won't be bothering you again i guess you were the right person for the job huh thanks friend by the way we've decided to support the men we got to help each other if we want things to get better okay so now we have the slug as a settlement we'll be able to build this place up What is that? Some kind of toy? It's not just any toy. It's a genuine Getty Up Buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? Sorry, no. Of course not. But... Mm, I think I know where you could find some. Not the most glamorous job, but I'm willing to pay. You interested? All right, I'll do it. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Otama Toys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. You, on the other hand, well, you look like you've seen everything. I'm sure you can handle it. Now. Where was I? Okay. Well, we'll drop some stuff off here. And we'll call it quits here for now. So, things that we have to work on. Obviously, Hunter Hunted. Special delivery, trouble brewing, what Adam requires, but that's all back up in Far Harbor, as is best left forgotten, data recovery, Keating ideals. So we're working on Echoes of the Past. We have best of three, listen to Vault Tech Distress Signal. We have Pyromaniac, Find and Kill Pyro, 
All Hallows Eve, listen to the mysterious signal. This doesn't work. But I know where to go. So that will be taken care of when we feel like it. <laughs> so we have to, let's see, what else? So in when pigs fly, we can get a grenade launcher out of that that shoots out pig grenades of some sort. Uh, Crucible is obviously investigate the Saugus Ironworks. Uh, had greater troubles at Somerville Place. We still need to talk to Preston Garvey about that. And uh, Vault Tech calling. We still need to turn into Vault 88 Radio. So, I think what we are, our focus is going to be, though, is on Echoes of the Past and Best of Three. No, not in Pyromaniac. So, I think those are the ones we're going to do um, in our next video. So, hope you've enjoyed this playthrough so far. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, good luck and have fun out there.